guys, welcome back to another episode of Bite the Bait Fishing. It's me, Julian, and today we are finally back with another episode. We are out here in the Florida Everglades, one of my favorite places to fish. Now, I am waiting for my Uber to arrive to take me out on the water to do a little fishing today, so I decided since I'm here early, I'm gonna unbox some new products that I got in the mail. It's been crazy lately, went on vacation, been super busy at work, but finally we're out here. It's a beautiful day. These are some really fire products that just came out as always we got some cast pro braid that we're gonna be spooling up on our reel but new from cast king royal legend elite series bait casting reel now these things are absolute fire they don't all come in red these reels are color coordinated to their gear ratios specific to whatever you're gonna be fishing right here I got a super fast 8.1 to 1 gear ratio reel and this one is color coded in red absolute fire looks like a ferrari or a super high-end sports car and then right there you get the royal legend elite new packaging too from casting i don't know if you guys noticed that black boxes foam inserts everything is really nice and protected now one of the cool features that i've been seeing a lot of people talk about is the palm perfect reel look at how small this reel is it fits absolutely perfect in the hand ultra lightweight these guys they spared no expense they made these things absolutely legit really buttery smooth out of the packaging let's go ahead and do a little bit of close-up right there and try to move it around for the camera just so you guys can get an idea that color oh my god that color is so sexy one of the coolest things about this bait caster they actually changed the way that the side plate opens on it so the side plate has an open and close feature. Usually they have like a little latch right on the bottom. So you turn that latch to the side, to the down feature, boom, and it pops open like a Lamborghini door. That is ridiculous, dude. It doesn't fall out. The spool will fall out if you guys are trying to tighten your line to it, which is really cool, really quick access to the spool. But dude, check that out does not fall off man that's awesome i'm sure you guys have had it happen it's happened to me where these little side plates fall off and you get worried is something going to come off is you're going to get dirt in it you're going to get something inside of it. it's going to make the reel not run true so they actually designed that that little wing plate on the side that keeps it from falling off which in my opinion is super convenient pops right back into place and all you got to do is put it on close you're good to go. So that's one of the new, really key features about this reel. Now again, like I did mention, they're color coordinated to the gear ratio, so this is the fastest gear ratio you can pick up. I really like fast reels, so that's why I chose to go with this one. But they got a really sick blue, they got an awesome black, and they got a really, really clean, white looking bait caster you guys got to check them out links will be in the description below you also get 16 and a half pounds of brakes on this for the drag capacity so it's really really strong you could stop any kind of freshwater fish you're going to be fighting those inshore fish maybe you get a really big snook you're gonna have to go easy on them but definitely plenty of drag for any freshwater fish that you're going to be fighting all right so let's take a look at the rod packaging again they revamped the packaging they used to have just the traditional brown casings for the rods really nice tight fit and actually tells you where to open it in the box super cool so let's go ahead and pop this bad boy out and again guys if you're doing an unboxing outdoors i cannot stress it enough make sure you put this stuff in your car take home all your garbage throw it away properly dispose of it let's not ruin any of these beautiful places because local government agencies trying to shut things down all the time for fishermen and every day it's getting harder and harder to find places to actually go out and fish so let's please let's please 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 keep these places clean let's give you a really quick look at that right there really nicely packaged has the foam insert around the butt of the rod wow very tight boom pop that right out here we go, here she comes. Perfect, perfect match, as you guys can see, with the black and red. I don't know if you guys can see that just yet. Take a look at that. So you got the EVA grips on the bottom. The rod feels ultra light, you got the black and red accents. You got the hook keeper up here, right above where your, where your bait caster is gonna be positioned. All black, with some red accents to it, looks Incredible, it's gonna look awesome with the reel. This one right here, just to kind of give you guys a little reference of what it is, it is a 7.3 fast action, medium heavy, 
So John should be getting here any moment now. I was joking about the whole Uber thing. He's basically like my chauffeur for the day because we're going out on his boat today. All right, guys, check it out. My Uber has arrived. I ordered Uber Black today. Uber Marine. Uber Marine. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, take us that way. Take us that way before it gets me around the pilings. Can you see? Is it coming this way? Dude, whatever it is felt decent. It's, it's back this way. That's a big one, dude. Oh, Ooh, baby. I told you, dude, that's a big bass. All right, we're gonna flip him in. Oh, 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 dude, he's pulling drag. Oh, watch the troll mode. My God. You don't have a net, do you? I don't, just flip him in. He's hooked well, he's hooked pretty good. Oh, on the camera! On the, the camera, guys. Well, wow. if that's any way to test out the new reel. Hey, I told you they were here, man. I told you. But I called where the fish were at. <laughs> ah, Everglades largemouth bass, baby. That's what I'm talking about. He's probably three and a half. Three and a half pounds. Yeah, that's a good fish. Put him in the live well. Yeah. Guys, he crushed it. Look at that fish. Digging that blue, man. Digging that blue. Yeah, fucking. Guys, like I mentioned earlier in the video, just a quick little side note. I mentioned that these Royal Legend Elite Series reels come in different colors to different gear ratios. Here is actually one that John has. Take a look at this blue. It looks like something out of a BMW sports car. I mean, these things are high performance bait casters. It's the M4. Bro. It is insane. <laughs> Wow, you guys definitely got to go online and check these out. What's the gear ratio on this one? 6-6 six, six to 1. So as you can see, we got a 6-6 six, six to 1 and we got an 8-1 to 1. So they are uh, gear to color coordinated. So it makes it easier for you guys that are tournament fishermen to cycle between your baits and have everything custom set for yourselves. But that's pretty dope, man. I like it. I like it, too. I like it a lot. Gone? There you go. <laughs> nice. Let's see what you got. Probably a peacock, but you never know. Peacock bass. There we go. <laughs> Little juvenile. Breaking the ice, my bro. Good job. We better set the hook. What are you doing? Just really. <laughs> Come to the front, bro. Oh, it's a good bass, bro. It's a good bass. Let me get my net. Not a bad one. A little like two pounder. Maybe. Yeah. Beginner's luck. <laughs> nice. Good job. Good job. All right, let's see. I think I might have a bite. You ready, Corey? Yeah. You ready for this? Oh, oh doggy dog. Oh. That's a nice one. And I got a nice patch of grass along with him, dude. Get the net. Get the net. Look at him right here. Look at that rod bend. That's what I like to see. I'm gonna take this thing out grouper fishing. What do you think, Corey? <laughs> Snap it in 16 pieces. <laughs> Dude, yeah, try to clear that off. He's underneath the boat. Oh, maybe we trim up the motor a little bit. Oh, keep that tension on. Oh no, don't come off. He might be a big one. No, he's pretty big. There he is. Yeah. Damn, he's just all up in that grass. Here, here, look, he's right in front. He's right in front. Oh, he saw that net, he took off. He's like, hell no. <laughs> Don't even bring that net on the boat, please. I think it's gonna like, guys, but we got a nice bass. So, so today is day two out here in the glades. Today I'm out here with my boy, Corey. Day one was with John and we did a little switching of tactics. Day one was all about throwing lures with the new rod and reel. And today we just wanted to have a little fun out here. I got some technical issues with the boat. So we're fishing with live bait. Corey's been on him today, hammering them, and I just, I think I just smacked into a pretty good one. I haven't looked at him yet. Corey got some out back, but I'm gonna show them to you guys in just a minute. And I'll get that hook out. There it is, you guys. Let's see, what do you guys think? You think he's bigger than day one's bass? I say he might be a little smaller. It's been a few days since we were out on day one, but I'll tell you what, they are getting fat, man. That's a nice one right there. Gonna get him de-hooked and sent them back in. But not a bad start to the day. There he goes. And he's off. All right, baby. Here's another one. 
Holy crap, what the hell? Where the hell did he go? <laughs> Another little, oh, it's a peacock, yes. Yeah, he's fighting pretty decent. Look at him dogging down. Doing the old, the old snapper shake, bam. Ha ha, that's what I'm talking about. That's not bad. No. Yeah. I got the two little guys, you got the bigger ones. Ooh, not bad, you guys. Nice looking little peacock bass. He's all screwed up though. Must be spawning. He's all got all the scars on him. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty sweet so far. Send him back out. Boom. There we go. Peacock. Little peacock. Look at this little guy. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Right over there by that grass. Here we go, bro. Hammer time. Hammer time. Bring in the hammer, boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> another little peacock. Dude, literally. Oh, there's another one with it, dude. If you want to come throw in, are you ready? No. No? All right. Give me a hard time over here. Bro, use a little net. I did. Oh, it's because you're getting picky. You're going for the big, you're going for the big shiners. I see you. I see the one that you just put on your hook. <laughs> this guy don't want to give up. Oh, hook just popped out, guys. Ah, let's, let me show, whoa, look at that guy. Bam, he's little, but still fun. What can it be, what can it be? That's how you hook a fish. There you go, man. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs>